Snowbird 2023. Yep, it's almost over, isn't it? Oh gosh, it's gone by so fast. It's ridiculous. So, if you've been following us a while, you know we try to be snowbirds. We we flock from the cold, snowy north, and we <laughs> flock down to the south. And we've always said, if you haven't seen those videos, take a look at our videos from last year when we snowbirded, mm -hmm. but we try to stay south of I-10. Sometimes we fail. Sometimes we fail. <laughs> you know, but that's just the life of being full-timers. You know, things happen and you have to go with the flow. Yeah, and, and last year fuel prices went sky high and we talked about it and we thought, you know, we're just going to snowbird in Arizona this year. Kind of stay close out west. Yeah. And we love Arizona, by oh, the way. Absolutely. We love everybody here that we've met and are friends with. And But we've been here a number of a number of times. <gasps> yes, we have. And we love oh, the Arizona mountains. I love them. I love the cacti, cacti and everything. Everything. Yep. So we got here in December and we wanted to be settled for Christmas. That's kind of one of our goals is yeah. to be settled for Christmas so that we can get to know a few people or have friends, you know, that we can share the holidays with or whatever. And, and we did. We've yes. got some really good friends, J uh, Jason and Lynn, that yes. live here. They winter here in Yuma as well. And um, they we, took us in. They did. They <laughs> took us in and we spent the whole month of December here. And we did quite a bit. We visited with Jason and Lynn and we, you know, did some of our shopping and mm -hmm. got some things done. And we made a trip to Mexico. And we did. Only one trip, though, this year. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, as in previous years, we try to get to Quartzsite for New Year's. Yes, we do. And yeah. we did. I don't want to waste it on any 
So I had a blast at Quartzsite. It was so much fun. I loved going on our rides. Yeah. Not carnival rides. Not carnival rides. No! <laughs> <laughs> we went on a lot of different rides this year. We did. Yeah, we got a lot of rides in. Yeah, not carnival rides. And it wasn't the same ride twice. No, that's what was so fun about that. We explored that. all different places. Yeah, yeah. A lot of that had to do with our GPS because I was able to do a little research and figure out, you know, where the different places that we could go. And yeah. We even went on that 100 and, what was it, 162 <laughs> mile ride or one stupid thing. <laughs> Got home at 10 o'clock at night. Three hour tour. <laughs> at least we got back. We got back in the dark. Oh, man. I have video of that. I should show it. Yeah. So anyway, we do the, the, the reason we're doing this is this is kind of a recap on our snowbird season this year. And, and if, if, we haven't, if you haven't heard it before, these videos are not only for you, but they're for us to go back and look at our memories. And mm -hmm. this is kind of a memory of our Snowbird 2023 season. And it's just been, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Although we're going to do some things different next year. We'll, we're going to get to that yeah. here in a second. But uh, we got to go to the Quartzsite show, you know, the tent show, the RV show. We did. And uh, we, able, we were able to, to secure a booth for our meet and greets while we were there. <laughs> That was so much fun. It was. It was it a was lot of so fun. It was so fun. Me whoever came out, meeting you guys, was that was pretty awesome. That was a blast. Yeah. And then um, we got pizza at Silly Al's before we left. I know, finally. I didn't think I'd ever get to Silly Al's because, <laughs> you know, if you've gone to Quartzsite and you've gone to Silly Al's, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you haven't been there, you've got to go. Yeah. It is the best pizza ever. But we had such a great time meeting old friends, getting together again. Uh, some of these people we don't see, uh, but once a year at Quartzsite. I know. And I then know. and then so many of you new friends that we met this year at Quartzsite. <gasps> oh, that our Canadian was... friends. We've met so many new Canadian friends. Yeah. It's... Wonderful, wonderful people. We've, yeah. just, we've just really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, although... The show at Quartzsite's only a week, and we stayed four weeks, and Kelly says she doesn't want to do four weeks at Quartzsite again, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. I, it was just it was just hard this year for some reason. I yeah. Know. Well, the weather wasn't all that great. No, it wasn't. It was windy. Very so windy. then we came back to Yuma. We did. Uh, you were ready for hookups? I was ready. <laughs> Running water? Oh, my god. Long showers? Yes. It took me a while to, to realize that I can take a little longer shower <laughs> than... You know, just a spit wash. But something that we did find this year, and we did share it in a video, is we did something a little bit different this year. Um, we spent the month of December. So if you don't know, the southwest Arizona area, Yuma, Lake Havasu, Quartzsite, the, the whole area, a lot of these places are very, very popular, and you need to make your reservations. It's kind of like Florida. You need to yeah. make your reservations about a year in advance. Yeah. And, we were kind of panicking last year when we left, thinking, oh my gosh, if we're going to come down to Yuma, you know, we're going to have to lock something in. So we did. We locked in an RV park. Um, a very nice park. Yeah. Nothing bad to say about the park no, at no, all. No. Um, but we're not RV park people. We're, <laughs> we kind of stay by ourselves. We did. And we don't use the amenities that they at the park has. We don't use the pool. No. We don't use the hot tub. We don't use the clubhouse. No. We don't use the cafe. Mm -mm. Uh, we don't use shuffleboard. We just, we, that's just not us. No. We walked a lot. We did walk around, a lot. Yeah. Which was nice. And met a lot of nice people. Yeah. But we're just not park, RV park people. And so we scored a, an RV lot in the Yuma foothills. And we talked about that in a previous video as well. But it's a privately owned lot. And the owners are able to set up two RV sites on a lot. And so we've been sharing a lot with a couple from Montana. Very, very nice people. Yeah. Um, and the price is about, well, it's less than half of what the RV resort was because there's no amenities. Right. But we didn't need the amenities. Um, but it's, it's, it's very quiet. It's very peaceful. It's very private. It's just been really, really nice. Uh, and, and we've enjoyed our stay here in the lot now. We talked in a previous video again about these these RV lots, and, and they're set up for long term. The owners of the lots really want you to be there for four plus months. And again, that's just not us. No. But we were we we weren't even we had to pay for January, even though we weren't here. We set up for January, February, March because we found it in December. We still saved money. We still saved money, even though we weren't here the whole yeah. month of January. Yeah. Um, and 
and we highly recommend it. I mean, if you want to come down and spend long term in the Yuma area, it's it's a really good way to, to do business. Yeah. But um, it's just that's just not a, you know not the yet. parks the parks aren't us, and and, no. and we're finding out more about ourselves as we stay here uh, as as we travel, and we're in our fifth year of travel already. Um, things are different. We do things differently. Yeah. I mean, every year can change yeah. how you feel about, you know, what you're doing and where you're going to go. But we, because we've been in this this RV lot, the private lot, we were able to meet a lot of the neighbors. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What well, great people. I know. Kelly and Vic, you guys are oh, awesome. They're champs. Oh, my gosh. They are the sweetest people. Yeah. And they just, again, you know, they take you in and they love on you yeah. and then you become good friends. So. And they set us up with, with that ride. You know, out on the Barry Goldwater Range uh, with a lot of the neighbors. I think we had 12 rigs out there. Yeah, there was. And and just had a great time. Um, and and we we just and then while we were here in, in Yuma, we were able to schedule our very first meetup. We Sweet did. Travels meetup. I know, and it was a success. We just it was so much fun. Yeah. You know, the first, you know, the first are always kind of nerve wracking for me anyway. Yeah, I think you were fine, but I tell you, it was a breath of fresh air after it was over with because I was, I didn't know what to expect, but you guys, all that came out. And yeah, we had 34 You're people. Wonderful. 34 yeah. people show up and, yeah. and we met, got a chance to meet everybody and, and, you know, shared our, our personal information back and forth and yeah. just, just had a wonderful, wonderful time. And, so and we've fun. already made plans to meet a few of them out on the road yep. this year already because we yeah. we're going to be similar places and we've kind of scheduled it around where mm -hmm. we're going to be able to get together on the road again and and that's what this lifestyle is all about that's what we love about this lifestyle you're going to hear us talk about this a lot um about meeting people and friends and uh, well we've got we've got different churches across the country that we visit uh that we kind of call our, our local churches whenever we stay there yuma has one uh there's another one in um in Bridgeport, Texas, mm -hmm. that we go to, and and another one up, up in Oklahoma that we Sarah, that we visit. And, Sarah, and so, you know, we've got different churches, but we also like to visit different churches as we travel uh, across the country, and that has allowed us to meet so many great oh folks gosh, yes. and stay in touch with them. Yes, and we have become lifelong friends. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just been a great time. But because we've been, you know, in this neighborhood, we've been able to just jaunt across the street to the Barry Goldwater Range and, and you know, take a, a number of rides and had a good time. Woodcutter's Pass. You really liked Woodcutter's Pass, didn't you? It was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I probably would do it again. Yeah. Now that I know what I know. Yeah. And um, what to expect. But it was a lot of fun. It was. It'd be a lot of fun with a lot of people. It would. Yeah. And then we went to the Yuma Air Show, and we haven't been to an air show in years and years and years. Oh my gosh, uh, for the forever. and you know that was just a few weeks ago when we showed that video, and you know, for the a, a town the size of Yuma, uh, hats off to the U.S. Marine Air Corps, the air base here in Yuma. They, did they just a did a, a great job putting it on, and yeah. and we just had a, a blast, and and met some more friends there. We did some more new friends we while did. we were there at the air yeah. show. So we get a chance to meet you guys. You know, all across the country as as we travel, and we stayed busy. We've we've been busy all of we've been here all of February, coming up on the end of March, but it's time to go. It is. We. Uh, it's hard for us to stick around for yeah. a long period of time. It's just not what we do. Yeah, this isn't our style, guys. No, um, we start to get and we start to get kind of grumpy with each other. <laughs> it's like you know you're you're with each other twenty four seven, and then. You're not getting out and doing as much as you would if you're traveling. Although we did a lot. We did. We you know, did do a lot. We look back on our memories uh, from from the snowbird season that we were here, and we, we got a lot done. But this just isn't our style. Our, the first year we were out, uh, we spent three months in the Rio Grande Valley in South Texas. Mm -hmm. And we thought, oh, we're never going to do that again. That's just too long. And then here we are. We, we were spent, climbing the walls there. And then here we are. We spent four months in Yuma. And I feel like the same. Yeah, and, I do know, too. I just like it's time to go. Yeah, it's we're time. we're not we're not settle downers at all. Yeah. Uh, so we're really kind of itching to get back out on the road, and um, we're we're trying to get stuff done. Uh, we're 
we're headed we're headed to San Antonio to see some very good friends of ours um, that we love dearly and, and again we met them on the road yep. we're gonna mooch dock at their place for a few days and then we're gonna move on up into Bridgeport Texas and spend some time with the grandbabies uh, and our daughter and her husband and then on up to Oklahoma we've got some projects that we need to do on the rig and oh yeah by the way guys um, you know we got we got a couple of comments on our video on repairing the rig we love our DRV absolutely oh. love our DRV and, and we, we recommend them all oh, yeah. the time yeah but we you know some of you said man if they're cutting corners I, I'd get rid of it quick no 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 these RVs roll down the road and they are rolling earthquakes I think I said that on the video and stuff happens and you've just got to be able to, to fix it yourself or know somebody that's yeah. handy that can help you out and get it fixed or have a dealer that you can really count on to get things done and we Which have we both do, yeah we have both we have a dealer that we absolutely love and and they get a lot of things done but uh, we've got friends with spacecraft RVs guys and they go back to spacecraft every year for repairs and upgrades yeah New Horizons New Horizons I mean, is the same way yeah no offense to New Horizons but I think I hear more stuff from them <laughs> than I do Seriously. but those, those are high dollar coaches yeah you know and, and things and, happen and things stuff happens yeah. and you just have to be handy on the road yeah. and we love our DRV uh, we just we, we love the quality we love the rig and again we've had a few emails saying hey what do you think about this or what yeah. do you think about that and no we we love our rig and, and we wouldn't change a thing so we're we're very very pleased with our rig yeah. but it is time to organize this pig yeah there you go that's a good <laughs> that's a good way to put it you know when you sat for a long time and you just kind of throw things up in the cupboard and figured you know it's okay because we're not going anywhere and then the week before you have to leave it's like oh I gotta move stuff or you go do your cooking and rather than put it back in the cupboard you just leave it on the counter and pretty soon we've got on a the counter floor. full of stuff <laughs> I, potatoes and onions are on the floor oh my yeah, gosh it's we gotta get back in the travel mode we do and we do. and again we absolutely <laughs> positively love this lifestyle um and this just kind of solidified it i think yes next year i think we're going to do things a little bit different on snowbirds uh, we're going to talk about it over the summer and see yeah. what we want to do but I we think... need to switch things up a little switch things up a little bit yeah <laughs> we do we do we do and and you know we've already had a couple of folks that have offered us to mooch dock and we've got some very good friends down in tallahassee keith and nan that that have offered us uh, their place to mooch dock down there in Tallahassee We've for as been, long as we want yeah and we we were there last year and uh, we just adore those two and, and love them to death and yes, we'll probably go back friends. so anyway yeah. uh, we'll talk about that in another video but it is time to pack up it is time to hit the road it is time to go it is it is we're done we're done <laughs> we're done it's over let's go yep it's time to say goodbye to the desert yep we love you desert but it's time to go it's time to go all right, we're going to wrap this one up from Yuma, Arizona. It all starts with an idea. And turn those ideas into reality, guys. Make lifelong memories with them, just like we've done here in the desert. We wouldn't have changed a thing. I nope. mean, it, it, four months four months in the desert is not our cup of tea, but we've got some great memories. We do, and you learn and you grow. Yep. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.